All right, it's a beautiful morning. It is uh, Friday, August the 14th, 2009. It's right about um, 8.30 in the morning. I'm in Hillsborough, New Jersey, and what I'm going to be doing today is driving from New Jersey all the way up to Amherst, Massachusetts, uh, where I'll be visiting uh, the Emily Dickinson Homestead, uh, the museum, and walking around the block to go see her grave site. <laughs> Let's go. The Emily Dickinson House in Amherst, Massachusetts is where Emily was born, it's where she wrote all of her poetry, and it's where she died in 1886. But she didn't live there her whole life, and the story of why she didn't live there from about age 3 to about age 24 uh, actually explains a lot about her family and her upbringing. Uh, the Dickinson family was a very prominent family in Amherst. Her grandfather was one of the founders of Amherst College. You see, her grandfather was very, very religious. So he wanted a good Congregationalist school uh, right there in Amherst because he thought those Unitarians running Harvard University down in Boston were a little bit too liberal. Unfortunately, he invested so much of his own money into the college that the family went bankrupt and they lost the house. So sort of in disgrace, Emily's grandfather has to leave Amherst and move out west to Ohio. Now this event deeply upset Emily's father, Edward, and he kind of made it his lifelong ambition to become a successful, wealthy attorney and restore the Dickinson family to prominence in town. One of his goals was to buy back that house on Main Street. Was her father Edward successful? Well, in 1835, Edward became treasurer of Amherst College. In 1852, he was elected to Congress. And finally, in 1855, when Emily was 24, he repurchased the family home on Main Street and moved his family back in. Now, the picture that emerges from this family is, number one, the Dickinsons were a very religious family, but number two, that her father, was an ambitious, career-minded man uh, who really valued the public opinion of the Dickinson name. 